Good morning. Uh, my name is Nawaf al Ghanim and I am a PhD researcher. I'm doing uh, my, my, my thesis about distributed leadership and organizational transformation initiatives. Uh, basically, the, the, the aim of my research is to test and examine the notion of network leadership. We we'll start with the introduction part. Uh, leadership is a challenge in a volatile and vibrant global economy where business environment is very dynamic and highly competitive. Coping with such competitive economic environment to be proactive, predictive of business trends and directions and adapt to changes. The methodology, the, this paper will discuss and answer the following question. How is distributed leadership <coughs> enacted and transformation initiatives, how does social network theory enhance distributed leadership, and what are the con conceptual dimensions of network leadership? Uh, just to highlight, the network leadership is not a leadership theory yet. We're trying to prove and examine if uh, distributed leadership would take us to the notion of network leadership. The methodological and philosophical approach, qualitative research approach was used comprehensively uh, to examine the nature of this research. The main aim of this qualitative research approach is gathering descriptive data which refers to the experience of the targeted sample. And the targeted sample over here are the top executives and CEOs of organizations within the oil and gas sector in Bahrain. It's a, it's a sector that's going through a transformation initiatives, uh, not only in the region, but through the globe with the change in the technologies and the way the business is done. Uh, the philosophical approach of this research is imperatism due to the qualitative methodological approach taken by the researcher to address the research problem. Semi-structured face-to-face interview was used as the primary data gathering source. What is organization transformation? Organization transformation is defined as a term which refers broadly to such activities as re-engineering, redesigning, and refining systems or a change in the manner the business is carried out. Organization transformation is also defined as a facilitation of radical shifts and organizational shifts and organizational value, culture, structure, routine, and the way business is done. Organization transformation is a multi-faced process within a specific business frame. Organization transformation is also a challenge and complicated business patterns and require theoretical examination of possible combination of individual or various approach to leadership at the pinnacle and at the top hierarchy of and the structure of the organization itself. So basically some organizations tend to go with single leader who leads the organization and a and, and more, more proactive organization. It's a combination of different styles and different traits and characteristics of leaders. Organization transformation literature continues to focus on the single individual who leads the transformation initiatives rather than the combination of individual and their interactions. So this is a chronological leadership uh, evaluation. So it states that traditional leadership, which is a form of, uh, of, of leadership that starts from the early 20th century to the 70s, and then the newer leadership, which is from the 80s to the 21st century. The newer leadership is what we refer today mistakenly by practitioners as traditional. But it's not traditional. It's, it's organizational leadership, which is transactional, and more charismatic, which is transformational. The team collective leadership, and this is the area where my, where my research is focusing on, and it's a set of, of leadership that is more of collaboration, uh, shared leadership, uh, uh, democratic leadership, uh, where it depends on the, on the interaction between individuals and identifying their traits and their suitability to lead the organization at certain situations. 
And then the global leadership, which is a more trendy leadership uh, theory, which depends mainly on the complexity of, uh, of organizations and the wide geographical spread of those organizations, especially on the case of uh, multinational organizations which operates in different contents and different time zones. Traditional leadership development. So the traditional leadership development is started with trait-based theories, went to behavioral theories, and then situational theories, and leader follow theories. Uh, there are some scholars, practitioners, that still believe that trait-based theories still is applicable because it states that leaders are, are born with certain traits that makes them leaders. Uh, those, th those theories are, are, are debatable, and uh, there is a lot going around uh, trying to re-emerge trait-based theories as theories for today's. Traditional leadership theory. Traditional leadership theory includes trait-based theories. This theory became famous the 19th century, it began from the great man leadership theory or what is called heroic theory that states that leadership qualities are inherited. Uh, in 1947, Max Weber described and identified traditional leadership as one of the three leadership, traditional, charismatic, bureaucratic. Behavioral theories, behavior theories are opposite to trait theories as it focuses on the leader's behavior and actions rather than traits. Uh, situation contingency theories, a theory based on the motivational factors of individuals by matching their behavior to their leaders with their capacity to handle different roles and responsibilities. Leader follower theory, this theory focuses on the response of leaders to followers' capability and ability to adapt to changes an efficient performance. Newer leadership theories. Newer leadership theories are some, some way charismatic and spiral transactional. A new leadership theories emphasizes symbolic leader behavior, visionary, inspirational messages, emotional feelings, ideological and moral values, individualized attention, and intellectual stimulation. The most, and res the most researched and studied new leadership theories are Transaction leadership, transformation leadership, and charismatic leadership. Team collective leadership. Uh, this is the area of my, 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 my thesis and the papers I'm publishing. Uh, collective team leadership is an approach to leadership that leverages on the human aspect, focusing on individual and encouraging their positive participation in decision making. Collective approach to leadership are built around the concept of moving from a single leadership model where followers and groups exercise shared leadership to initiate transformative cha changes. Collective team leadership theories are decentralized where leadership can be rotated or shared based on the situation and current challenges facing the organization. So basically, it is stated that the team collective leadership is situational and based on traits. Collective leadership theories operates at a multi-level formal and informal and dynamic in its approach to leadership. Distributed leadership is the form of leadership that, uh, that we are using as a vehicle to, to lead us to the notion of network leadership. And distributed leadership is, a conceptualized, is conceptualized as a con constructive and co-joint effort of a group of individuals operating in a network or a team. It is also identified, identifies a focal designated leader and focuses on the organization as a whole rather than just on the team level. So it's basically, there is a difference. There, there, there is shared leadership and distributed leadership. So there is a difference between two, two concepts. Although they are identical, however, shared leadership looks at the team, whereas distributed leadership looks through the, across the board of the organization. So it's sort of a boundary spinner where it looks at the collective uh, intellectual uh, uh, benefit of the, of the organization as a whole. So it's not achieving the team or the network aim 
rather than achieving the whole organization or maybe the whole organizations if it's a consolidation of a group of companies owned by a holding company. Distributed leadership is a unit of analysis in which leadership could be understood in a holistic view rather than a form of an individual contribution. Distributed leadership emphasizes how human cognition is both held between individual and aspects of the situation and thus cognitive activity is stretched over both human actors and aspects of the context they are in. The conclusion. This paper focuses on the interaction and intersection between distributed leadership and organization transformation literature to boost and kickstart efficient implementation of transformation initiatives. So when, we, when, when I looked at the, the literature, we looked at two different literatures, the organization transformation literature or, or organizational change literature and leadership literature. The leadership literature, viewing it in a chronological uh, involvement, showed us that from a team collective uh, leadership approach, distributed leadership is looked by many practitioners and many researchers as a, as a suitable mean towards reaching the designated organizational goals, whereas the organization transformation literature states that it's leadership, which is considered one of the main pillars towards organizational achievement of its designated goals when it comes to transformation initiatives, either continuous, which is morphing, or radical, which is huge shifts in the way the business is operating. The literature review stated that this uh, that distributed leadership is looked at as an initiator of change by creating network of different leaders with different skills, traits, and characteristics that assume leadership during different times depending on the situation and the transformation stage. Distributed leadership makes sure those changes flows within the organization boundaries and vertically top down and down top by the most suitable leaders at that situation. Where leadership literature states that distributed leadership is important, organization transformation literature highlights the significance of leadership in the implementation of transformation initiatives. It still doesn't specify which, which type of leader and what stage of transformation it is in. One of the dimensions of this intersection and interaction between those two important topics is what this paper refers to as network leadership. Thank you very much.